guys. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. We were doing some drilling yesterday and ploughing, so if you want to check out yesterday's video, you'll see that. I'm not sure if we'll get that done today. Maybe I'll get some fertiliser on if this wind dies down a little bit. Um, or if my dad can get the plough back in days, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get drilling again. Let's uh, see what we get up to. Mick did a great job on the plough yesterday. Oh, it is really nice um, to be in that sunshine. But yeah, really nice of Mick to um, talk us out yesterday. It helped immensely. Right, let's get on the straw bowl. But first, I need to find my coat because it's got my knife in it. Now, whether I left it in the drill tractor or somewhere else, I am not, I, I can't remember. So I'm gonna go searching. I found my coat and my knife. I need to find my other coat actually, I think it's in the lorry. Um, could do with a wash, Sunday wash. So we're just blowing straw out. I've got my um, tractor beep in a minute. And we're just trying to get bedding everywhere in the pen, even though uh, it's not that windy actually. It was windy yesterday though. Get it everywhere we can. So I just jumped on the 69. We will uh, pull that out of the shed because I need to get to the meal. I'm going to jump on the TM and um, finish feeding around here. Mum's just going to give me a hand. Uh, now I've run out of meal mid feed, which is a problem. I need to do a mix. Um, oh well. Uh, yeah, that puts feeding some of these cattle a bit late today, but that's how it is. Should have been done yesterday, really. So, I've put in the molasses. We're going to back in now. Oh, I need to turn the clock round. What a minute. Rookie error, rookie error. Yeah. Can't weigh things in if I can't see the clock. It'd be better if it had one face in one way, one face in the other. I imagine that's an expensive option. Ben's come to help me now, which is really good of him. Fetch the dogs down and uh, give us a hand. So we're just getting everywhere finished off now with the straw in. I think I've got some cattle to take. Me and Ben have just been on. We've got um, a bullock out, so we're needing an extra one. And then I'm just going to get the daft keys and I can get the cattle loaded up while I've still got Ben here. Well, me out. Um, and I'll take them this morning rather than this afternoon. They're all loaded now. Um, people keep asking why don't I show loading cattle? Well, I have done before in the past, but there's only two of us loading, and it's a thing where it could get dangerous. You need to have your full con concentration, should I say, while we're doing it. So, yeah, I don't really film it. But um, I do win there's a load of us. Like when we're moving them out with grass and stuff like that, when we're all doing it, and my dad's not coming um, So, so yeah, you will see it. Right, we'll get set off with these. Ben's just going to put some hay out and stuff, and um, and then get off. I think. Ben's just fetching the silage round. The TM. He's going to do a premix. Get that ticked off. Right. I'm late for my dinner anyway, so I thought we might just have a little quick look at Ripon Farm Services. See what they've got in. Oh, look at this. So we've got the mini Kramer and it's Big Brother behind it. What a little beast. And that's a 407, so is that seven meter, four ton? A bit of extra weight on the back here. Yeah, tidy. We got a 6R185 here. Looking very good. Nice 250R. Look at that. That's, that's losing the sticker as well. Somebody's got a powerful washer somewhere. Absolute beast. 7290, eh? 290 horsepower. I don't know how much these weigh, but... Well, that's um, 1,500 kilos just on the front there. Yeah, that's a honey. 
the Kuhn Venter drill, which I've, I've been looking at every time I've come here. The nice um, disc coulters. Yeah, but that'd be all right. Looks like it's got like an Amazon. Hit. I don't know. What, is it a cord metering unit? I'm not sure. Somebody will let us know in the comments. I'm sure. 120M on some beasty big tyres. 155 are ultimate. So ultimate. Similar to our 130 in that it's got the um, smaller door there. But that's um, full power command. Everything's on the joystick on that one. Yeah, they've got a lot of tractors in. Also some power arrows and uh, a set of tines with a packer on the back. Uh, that looks like a, a verge mower or something, isn't it? A topper you could push out to the side. Push it out and angle it. That 155M looks uh, different with those wheels on it. All the M's got those types of wheels. Like the old school ones. You know, why is there just like one dish? They were sort of like, you can unbolt them and you can change the width for the, um, your, your track width. Lots more, another Kramer. That's a uh, slightly smaller one, I think. Um, and yeah, just a lot more huge tractors, 250R. That is a beast, isn't it? If we've ever seen one. Very nice. Right, I'm gonna get back, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna um, head back to, I'm gonna say South Yorkshire. I'm not sure if we're in North Yorkshire yet. We might be just. Uh, Pete came out to see what I were up to. No, he knows what I'm up to when he sees the van. Uh, when he sees the lorry here. Um, so Pete works at Ripon Farm Services and he um, just keeps this place alive, basically. Um, if you need a part on a Sunday at five o'clock, guaranteed Pete will be in here. Um, yeah, just, just ring him up and it's only at Darrington, no. Only at Dar he only works at Darrington. So um, yeah, well done, Pete. I I'm sure all the locals will let me know in the comments that um, Pete's a legend. Oh, I'm back in the yard now. Oh, ready for my dinner, let me tell you that. Change to the expected though, usually on Sunday it is Sunday lunch, beef, Yorkshire pudding and not all that, but we're not doing that, we're going to do that later in the week. I'm going to have a pizza, I think, what a change for a Sunday, pizza, feels wrong. Um, did anybody else have pizza for their Sunday dinner today, let me know in the comments. Or what did you have for your Sunday dinner? Do people go out for Sunday dinner these days? I think a lot of people do, don't they? I don't know. I don't know. We're abnormal here. We have we have beef and Yorkshire pudding and yeah, roast usually, not pizza. Right, I've had my pizza. Um, we're gonna now probably do a bit of feeding round. See how long it takes to do that and a mix, and then whether or not I go and do a few hours on the drill this evening, we'll uh, we'll see. Nearly forgot today. It's Noah's birthday. So he's 18 today, so um, he's had the day off. I'm not sure what he's doing. I imagine getting a pint somewhere. So happy birthday to Noah. Uh, I hope you've had a good day. I know next weekend he's, uh, he's doing something proper for it, I think. But, uh, but yeah, happy birthday, man. They're all sitting in there nice and relaxed, laid down, you like to see. Not a care in the world, have they? Look at that for an Angus effort, eh? You're looking good. These guys are all laying outside today. That's why I put plenty of straw outside earlier today. Chewing their cud, turning that meal that we got into, uh, oh, thanks for the wee wee, into nice juicy beef. All these guys happily eating. We like to see. Right, I'd better. Uh, do a mix ready for the morning because we may well be busy tomorrow so I better get these things ticked off my time for drilling is fast running out I'm, I think I've been a bit optimistic optimistic thinking that I can get out there 
the molasses is going in. We wear that into the tub. It just tastes like heaven to the cows. It binds to all the feed. It makes it really palatable and it also has uh, energy and protein in it as well. So it's just a win all around. Oh, also, did I mention molasses is a um, byproduct? So it's a waste product that we could use for animal feed. Fantastic. Can't use it ourselves. Oh, it's purring is the 6930. It's mixing this up, throwing it over the sides. So we'll bump this out, then I've got another. A uh, new starters mix, sort of thing, grazing cattle mix to do. And I'll tip half of that out, probably leave half of that in until tomorrow morning. So we've got the silage grab on. We'll open this up. We'll try and one handedly get right into the right position. The idea is we cut a nice, tidy, straight face on the clamp so we'll go in there and then bite down and then that stops more air than needs to be hitting the clamp and making this, the face of it spoil you see that's why we're trying to cut it out so we're not leaving jagged edges and a big area for air to get to right i'm going to get things pulled into the shed and then I'm gonna drive down in the car to that field to see what she's like before I I need another bag you see in the drill. I don't want to put a bag in it if we're not gonna be drilling for a few days because we might end up having to drop that off and using the tractor for something else. So that's all parked in. Left a big space here so that we can get some seed into the drill if we want to and we can get the drill out if we think it'll go. So we'll jump in Sang Yong. Right, so we've got here, and it does look like it's drying nicely, but I can still see a lot of wet soil there. So we'll have a look, walk into the middle, down to the wet hole, which is sort of near where that um, telegraph pole is, and see what it's like. See, we've got some big slabs here, and it is still, it's not bad on top. And just not underneath, as soon as you get the weight of the tractor on it, Boom, we're going to be uh, down, but we'll look in the wettest part of the field. Some of this might go, some very uneven ploughing here. I think just because it was that wet, it's been difficult to, uh, this area here is a massive wet hole. Almost wants the power hour over it to level it before I come in and drill it, really. Yep, once a bit longer. <coughs> leave it to imprints in it still and that's on the top where it's had a chance to dry um, yeah we're not going to get all the way across here to be fair I could probably get one bag of seed on to here but I just wouldn't be able to finish the whole field so might be as well leaving it you see that pole uh, we need to um, make that our first sort of run up the field because what I want to do is make half that that halfway between two tram lines so when I'm going up with my sprayer the pole is in the dead center so I'm only having to move off the line sort of like that much to get around the pole um, so yeah so it's not as simple as starting at the side of the field and just working away I've got to start in the middle here and then if I hit a wet spot either side we could be in trouble Right, I've made the decision. We're definitely not doing this field. It needs to go in right. It's a catchy field where it does get wet. So the crop needs to have the best start. And if I do it now, it won't have the best start. Um, Cause it's one, it won't have gone in quite right. Two, it's gonna get, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna get a lot of rain tomorrow. So hopefully if it stays dry tomorrow, we might be in for a chance, or maybe the day after. We might need two days on it, to be honest, to get these wet holes dried out. And that way I can get somebody power hourin' in front, then I can go with the power hour combination, then we've got it in right. We've not um, we've not just tried to paddle it in. Yep, that's the decision on that one. All right, we've got another field down here that is partly ploughed. So 
So we'll see if we can do anything on that. This is what we put in yesterday. Looking uh, really nice. Not done the bottom headland because we need access to these other fields at the minute and I mean it would probably plough up now but it was quite wet yesterday again this is drying off nicely I'd almost if I had somebody to power our in front because it is a heavy heavy land um, so should get a bit further along could just do with knocking over once before we go through it um, yeah it would have been sort of manageable to get this one done I think it's very wet in the bottom corner and I'm guessing it got very wet and that's why I didn't get ploughed all the way to the to the edge but this is um, it's drying off lovely I just know what's going to happen tomorrow we're going to get the rain but only a mill it says it's going to only be a mill the great thing about ploughing look how open it is all these spaces where air can get in and where the wind can take their moisture away it um, it quickly dries the soil out. Whereas if we go on like we've done over there and power our it, there's not as much soil to air contact, so it doesn't dry out the same. So if we were to like sort of pre-power harrow this just in front, ready for the drill, and then it rained, it takes so much longer to dry out compared to how it is now. And it's ploughed and everything's opened up. I guess that is um, about it then, isn't it? Oh, try and stop out the wind, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you've liked today's video, then please remember to press the like button. Um, subscribe as well if you've not already. There is um, a little bit of a video from Nairsbury Tractor Run. I've got a lot of bees around me now. That's not concerning at all. Okay. I think I'm safe. Um, yeah, there's another video on Nairsbury Tractor Room where we went to McDonald's um, last weekend with Mr. B. So check that out. Um, I've not got attacked by bees. That's that's always a positive. And um, we will see you in tomorrow's video. If anybody wants any of the merchandise, as always, it's at uh, drillseals.com. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to um, go home now then, I suppose, and uh, put my feet up. So hopefully you're doing the same. See you later. Bye.